view, China has significantly stepped up diplomatic and military pressure on Taipei since Beijing expected uh, President Tsai Ing-wen was elected in 2016. Now, things haven't been great, to say the least, between the U.S. and China also. What was the point of this move by the U.S.? Well, of course, they, um, there was a trade talk, uh, um, trade negotiations going on between the United States and China. Mm -hmm. uh, and, of course, that both sides are coming to an understanding, at least, uh, that the trade talks could be conducted um, kind of independently. Otherwise, that there, there, there will be no deal because uh, the United States is engaged in a 360 degrees pushback against China, uh, both um, in terms of uh, not only trade, but also technology, but also the military uh, in the South China Sea, and also the ideologically on the uh, uh, perception, perceived lack of human rights in, in Xinjiang and all that. So you lump them all together in the trade talk, then it's not possible. So let's, um, I think the both sides agree that, well, let's treat the trade talk separately. Now, on the other hand of the scale, there is the Taiwan question. Now, as far as the United States is concerned, uh, of course, the United States still pays lip service to the one, kind, one China uh, principle. Mm -hmm. um, for example, um, the United States is not supporting a separate seat uh, for Taiwan in the United Nations. And so they can say that, well, it's still supporting the one China principle. But on the other hand, in the United States, there is the Taiwan Relations Act, which um, legalizes the sale of um, weapons to Taiwan to help its own defenses. And that's why that's what the United States is doing. But mm -hmm. of course, the, the United States is trying to push the envelope and right. trying to test the red lines in China. So hold um, that thought.